Roxanne coming to you with our next episode of Art Smart brought to you by Whirly Derb. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to draw a real simple face. So what we're going to do is take you, learn a little bit of the math behind it because once you can divide, take a circle, divide it into fourths, it's going to help how you draw a face. So let me pop over here. Let's switch over to our document camera and this is what I want you to do. Uh, we're going to actually draw one face. We'll do it on a quarter sheet of paper. But if you just have some scratch paper, go ahead and draw an oval and divide it into fourths. So I've got three ovals here. You might want to do a circle there, maybe a rectangular shape if you'd like. So go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to show you is this is the key to the face. So with our faces, you want to do is where your eyes go on the page is a lot lower than most people think. So as you're showing students, you want to teach your students how to how to draw a face. You can either bring me into the classroom, show them the video, or I'll show you this. So you have your circle. Here, what you're going to do here, let's put a couple of just dots there for our eyes. Little eyebrows above them. Put a little nose there on that midline coming down. A little smile there. Gonna put a little ear on each side. So there we've got our little ears there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our hair kind of come up. We've got a little short hair on this one. A little guy coming up here, a little hair coming up here. And so there we have a very simple face. His ears a little off down there. But you can just practice uh, doodling this for a while. You can have a little curve with a little dot on it coming down. You can bring those little eyebrows in, tiny little nose there, maybe a little squiggle for your mouth. Let's go ahead and do the little ears there. Uh, let's say we've got some bangs on this one. So we have some bangs that maybe come across and bring them down. So they might come across this way. I always tell students, you don't have to draw every single hair on your head because that's something I used to try to do that and it just doesn't work right. So a little simple hair going this way, hair going this way, and you just kind of come down. Let's go ahead and put a little neck here, kind of coming down. And what I'm going to do for the hair, I'm just going to continue a few little lines coming down and around. Oh, this guy forgot his neck. There you go. Like that. So the same thing, you're, what you're going to learn to do, and sometimes like girls' hair is a little poofier than boys' hair. It's a little poofy hair on there. All right, so that's what I want you to practice with this. Just keep drawing them down there. You don't have to get into actual realistic drawing when what you're practicing here. You want to just practice getting accustomed to putting those eyes way further down your uh face than you used to. You can kind of play, tinker with different types of hair. This one I would do little bangs on it, maybe a, actually maybe it's kind of a short, yeah. right there, let's just go ahead and do a little, yeah, a little short hair on that one. So you can practice, maybe change the shapes of what you're doodling with. But work with that. Work on that grid. Bring those eyes down. They're halfway down your head. Your ears are going to be in alignment with your eyes. Your nose is about halfway from that intersection of the two lines. About halfway, maybe a third of the way down. Go ahead and add your mouth there. And then give it a neck. Remember, your head weighs about eight pounds, so make sure you give it a, a really substantial neck, not like a little lollipop stick. So go ahead and practice that. So keep tinkering with those. That is just a super, super quick little doodle. So I wanted to share that with you because that for the longest time I would always say, I don't know how to draw a face. Well, it's all about looking, you know, and so have students start to look at that. Where is the top of their head? Where is their chin? And really start to look because a lot of them will draw that hair coming right out of the top of their head and they need to bring it down a little bit. And then look, once you get your eyes about halfway down, you can have them just put your hands here and you can see where the top of your ears go and they line up with your eyes. So that's just 
that is just a little secret that I, I get so excited. I wanted to share that with folks because once I learned that, transformed how my faces were looking because I was just like, I can't draw a face. Well, still, my style is not very realistic in drawing, but if you're doing a quick sketch to communicate, you can get a lot of emotion just in how you draw those eyebrows and that mouth and those eyes. And students can really use that as they are uh, drawing characters to go with some of their stories. So I hope you found this helpful. My name is Roxanne Glazer, and I'm sharing with you another Art Smart drawing lesson brought to you by Whirly Derb. Thank you so much.